Hi, I'm Victoria Flerke. I'm a PhD student here at Tufts in the Department of Psychology. I'm very interested in learning about human emotion, and right now I'm working on a project ascertaining whether the ability to predict the emotions that you're going to feel in a given situation before you actually experience that situation is associated with better emotion regulation outcomes and whether this association varies across the lifespan. The experiment consists of two parts that are scheduled seven days apart. On day one, the participant fills out an online questionnaire at home about how they expect they will feel on the lab on day seven, where, unbeknownst to them, they will watch three evocative videos. When participants come into the lab on day seven, the researcher first connects the participant to physiological sensors, including those that measure heart rate, sweat gland activity, and facial muscle movement. They also calibrate an eye tracker, which allows the researcher to see what the participant is looking at on the screen during a given time. The participant then completes a resting state task in which they look at a fixation cross at the center of the screen for two minutes and complete a brief questionnaire of how they're feeling in that moment. Participants' physiological responding is also collected throughout this task and in all subsequent ones. After the resting state task, the participant states how they would like to feel in approximately 25 minutes. They then complete an emotion regulation task. For this task, participants choose to watch 6 of 12 videos that differ in two aspects, valence and level of arousal. Valence refers to the type of emotion a video evokes, so positive, negative, or neutral, whereas level of arousal refers to the intensity a video evokes, which can be low or high. Participants choose which videos they want to watch based on how they think the videos will make them feel, given the information provided about the valence and arousal of each video. After finishing the emotion regulation task, the participant watches three final videos, the evocative videos they made emotional forecasts for on day one. At the end of each video, the participant gives ratings of how they actually felt while watching the video. The difference between participants' forecasted and actual feelings serves as an index of their affective forecasting ability. Finally, after completing various demographic questionnaires, the participant watches a short, humorous film clip while the researcher removes the physiological sensors. The researcher then compensates the participant and explains the purpose of the study. 